what I looked at is I'm like, I don't really have a way to cook in here. And I know on a camp chef, you can add one of those hoods oh, there, yeah. that will allow you to use it as an oven. And so she wanted me to develop a oven for her. And I looked online at the different uh, configurations and I did it kind of based after some propane gas uh, pizza oven types. But this will be able to bake bread or pizza or whatever you want in it. And uh, oh my goodness, the cheapest one I found was at Sam's Club and it was $599, yeah. like 600 bucks. They're like over a thousand bucks for these with their own burner system. This one's going to be designed so that you can sit it on any flat surface or on any burner, on any camp stove, on anything. You can take it camping with you and have an oven. And I did it out of aluminum. You know, you don't want to do use galvanized for an oven because it can potentially put off poisonous gases if it ever got hot enough. And so I did it out of aluminum. We're going to insulate it and pour aircrete around the whole outside for an inch and a half and on the back door and in the oven door. It's not only going to have that insulated part, it's going to have about a three-quarter, half-inch air space around that the that the heat can convect all the way around the inside of the oven. So I'm going to put a small little air creep chimney about this tall on it. It's going to be really cute, I promise. <laughs> and uh, and it, it's going to just kind of draw the heat. Now, you're going to have a damper up top. Since it's just pure heat, no smoke, right. you, know, you can put the damper right on top. And uh, you'll be able to control how much air flows up around that. So you should be able to control the temperature of this oven... Um, I, it took me about a day to build it this far so far. It should, uh, by and the end it, And you didn't weld it. This is no, riveted. No, this is all riveted. And I know it looks really complicated, but no. Melanie and I put out a teaser video on this specific thing. And I just wanted to show somebody a little DIY skill that you can do with just two tools. With just a popper gun and these little cutters that you can buy for six bucks. Uh, at any air creek layer and the air layer right here goes up and around and it's uh, aluminum flashing and what happens with it is that that air that's coming up through those holes from the propane goes into that inner layer and then the outer layer insulates it so that heat isn't just escaping so Instead of it getting super, super hot in here in the deck when I'm cooking with this, what happens is all that heat goes up into here and it gets absorbed by the air crate so that it stays cool out here when it's cooking. So it's an insulated oven and it fits on my rocket stove. It's actually built to fit over the top of my rocket stove, but you can see that it also fits on my propane stove. And then if I were to take it out and put it over the top of a hotbed of coals, it would also bake in over the top of, of a fire, over the top of coal. So it's movable, it's lightweight, it's just a little bit bulky to move as one person. 
and um, this is the lid. It is also full of aircrete. If it was full of concrete, I wouldn't be able to lift it like this, but it's full of aircrete. And it just fits in like that. You can get propane hoods for baking on a Camp Chef, but they're just aluminum. There's no aircrete in them, and so all the heat goes into the oven, but then it also goes through the oven and goes out into the air instead of staying inside, and that's what's beautiful about this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check out the Honeydew Carpenter. The oven was built by the Honeydew Carpenter. He didn't weld with it. He used um, riveting, a riveting, a riveting gun to uh, make all these. He he cut it into shape, and then he put the the little the rivets, right? I hope they're rivets. These little nails that go in on, and clamp down on both sides. And then he put a brace around everything because he did just use aluminum flashing. He did have to put some forms around it when he poured the aircrete in so that it didn't bulge out. He let it dry for a few days and then we went ahead and tried it. It does have this little um, opening and shutting, allowing air to come through. Those holes run all the way back and you can see this, this inch here, this is open. This is open air. And then this inch here is aircrete. So everything in here is aircrete. Everything over here is air. And that's so, so the hot air comes up here. And then if you have this open, the hot air can come out. We do have a tray on it so that it doesn't get too hot. And this that you see is aircrete because I was, when I put the oven on, I was moving it and I didn't think I had it adjusted right and I hit it a little bit hard and a little bit of it crumbled but it was crumbling on the edge it wasn't something internally that crumbled and it was just a little bit so this is what it looks like you can see that the propane would be here and then this everything up in here is again like an inverted bowl and so it captures all the heat that then comes up through these holes and into the oven. And you can see how the base works, how the base works and how it just sits there. It's pretty ingenious and I love it to pieces. Okay, so, it's still really bright in here. I came and test, tested one, and it is now eaten, delicious, wonderful. So I'm gonna turn it off. The aircrete oven itself is actually gonna stay hot. Um, I put those potatoes in, they were pre-cooked. I just wanted to put them in the, in the juices in the bottom and let them warm up and soak up some of those juices. 
I do think that it's faster to use your pressure cooker, but it's faster in every way to always use your pressure cooker. So if I was doing potatoes or if I was doing rabbit and I needed to be able to do it quickly, I would always use my pressure cooker on propane and I could, I could use it out here. However, it's a little harder to do things like biscuits in a pressure cooker. You can, but sometimes you just kind of want that crunch and that flakiness and you don't really get that in a pressure cooker. Same thing goes for cookies and bread. You can bake bread in a pressure cooker. You could maybe do cookies in a pressure cooker, but sometimes just baking things is really nice. So this took about the same amount of time as it would in a conventional, regular electric or propane stove oven. It all worked exactly the same. I'm really happy with it. It was super fast. The house didn't heat up. The greenhouse did not heat up. I have the door open so the heat's going out, but the wind's not blowing on the stove. So um, I don't know if I want to just leave it in there or take it out and put it in the kitchen. The kids don't aren't really interested in eating right now, so I'll probably just grab another piece out and feed myself and then wait for them to be interested. Um, there's no, let's see, there's no way for insects to get in there right now unless they wanted to go up through a super hot base and up into those holes that are in the underside. There are holes in the base that put heat up into the inside layer of the oven and moves the air around. So. I'm going to turn it off and just let it keep cooking and I should probably show you what it looks like, shouldn't I? I don't know it's going to be too hot in there, sorry. I'm trying not to cook my camera. Can you hear it? Can you hear the sizzle? So there we go. Again, it's insulated. The aircrete is now hot on the outside, so it's probably going to keep cooking for a little bit longer. And I do need to pull it out. 